Midjourney has been around for a little over a year now, and if you want to access all the new features on your old pictures, here's what you need to do. Why don't we start with actually finding and selecting one of your old images. On the Midjourney website, where all your pictures are stored, you can see this archive button here at the top. This will bring up every single picture you've ever made sorted by date. I use this all the time. Now let's find an old picture. Let's take a look at what I was making on December 22nd, 2022. Look at this. That is so awesome. Mid Journey has been amazing for a while now. So if we want to bring this back into Discord, there are two things we can do. Well, first, you're going to click on this ellipses button down below, and you could go up to open in and then open in Discord, and that will load the image from when you first made it. But take a look below. None of the new features are there. So actually, if we go back to the Mid Journey website, and rather than hitting open in, we're going to hit copy. And from here, we want to hit job ID. We want to copy the job ID. Now back in Discord, inside the prompt box, you're gonna hit forward slash show and then paste in that job ID. You're gonna hit enter and then it's gonna bring up that image as if it was freshly made. And look, in painting is here. You have at least one of the new features already. Now this was made in version four. And for the record, there are a few different ways you can bring this into the newest algorithm. One happens to be way better than the others. I'll just show you all of them. First, if you have Remix turned on, you can click on the make variations button and actually just type the newest version into the prompt. All right, these are pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie but they're not exactly like the original picture and that might be what you're looking for so let's try a different way of bringing it into the new algorithm god i do like these a lot though those are really cool. Okay, our next option. You can click one of these upscale buttons underneath the image. It really does not matter which one you pick. You'll see the slightly new version of your image, but now underneath it, you're gonna see the remaster button. That button is gonna remaster that picture into the newest algorithm. All right, I do like these a lot as well, but they're really not the picture we wanted. So despite those two ways of bringing it into the newest version, there is one more thing we can do. What we want is to go to our original picture and hit Vary Region. This is Mid Journey's in-painting tool. And here's the trick. All you want to do is select a very small piece of the picture. If you select too small, it's gonna say something like select a larger area. Okay, that's fine. So go a little bit bigger. No, not enough. Perfect. Okay, look, I had to add this in because I just heard about it. If you need to select a larger area, you can actually just select outside of the image. That is crazy. That's all you needed to do. Select an insignificant amount of the image and select something away from the center of it. You don't even want it to be noticeable. And look at that. We have our image. It's exactly how it was before. Now, to be honest, it does not matter which one you choose as an upscale. I mean, you can see this little orange mark in number three, that's really the only difference. And now look, we have our version four image, but we have all of the other options like zooming out and panning. That is so powerful, like the best thing ever. So let's have a little fun. Let's zoom out. I'm gonna turn remix off and then I'm gonna pan to the left. And you know what? I wanna change the aspect ratio and you can do that by clicking on custom zoom, changing the aspect ratio, and then changing the zoom from two to one. All right, let's take a look at what we made here are the zoomed out images. I clicked on zoom out too, so this is a little farther back. I like number one a lot. Oh, number two is really cool. I like how the orange goes all the way to the top. Oh, number three is amazing. Whoa, panning to the left. Oh my God, look how cool these are. <laughs> I really like what it did. I mean, probably number one might be my favorite. The others added like a, a north-south road here. Although number three looks really cool with those two cars kind of converging on each other. And the fact that it's basically the same car in both images, like that's... Phew. That's amazing. And then here we have the 16 by nine version of our original image. And if you're curious, version four couldn't do 16 by nine. So to be able to take an old version four image, change just a little bit of it with in-painting and then resize the frame with custom zoom, this is a dream come true. This is absolutely amazing. Okay, I know it's cool that I have that identical car, but I was wondering if I could in-paint it and change it to something different. Well, if you notice, the in-painting option is no longer available, but we can get it back with one of those techniques we just use. We can click on custom zoom. Now here you're gonna want to change the aspect ratio. You can change it to 16 by 9 or something similar but the best practice is to try and match that new ratio that was made by panning. So this is much wider than 16 by 9. I think it's even wider than 2 to 1. So let's try maybe 22 by 10 which is like 
2.2 to 1, I think, will roughly give me what I'm looking for. And if I messed up the math there, please let me know if there's a better way to figure out what that ratio actually is. But again, the most important thing to do is to change the zoom from 2 to 1. Okay, I think those turned out all right. The ratio seemed to be correct. Oh, is it perfect? Maybe. It's a pretty good guess. Okay, now we have in painting again. I really don't know what I wanted to change this to. Maybe a different color car, but maybe we could try like a horse and carriage. Do you think that'll work? All right, maybe I suck at in painting. I could not get the horse and carriage to work. I think if I tried over and over again, lowered the stylized value, maybe added some chaos, maybe selected a bigger part of the image, maybe tried image prompting. I think there is a way to get what you're looking for, but that's a lot of experimenting to do. Please let me know if you found any faster shortcut. Couldn't get Superman to work, but then I selected a larger area and asked for Godzilla. <laughs> hey, they're not the best. I mean, number four is kind of cool, I guess. Anyways, that's a quick little video on how to get all of the new mid journey features on your older images. Leave a like below if you learned something new. I hope you're doing well. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Peace.